So I was in the I was in the airport, um, a pretty small airport, and I was carrying a set of golf clubs and a guitar because I'm playing in a, in a charity golf tournament out here. And this yeah. guy came up to me and he said, "Can I help you with your bags?" And he didn't work at the airport. And I was like, "I'm That's good, all. man. I'm like cool." It's always a little dicey, yeah. And then he he goes, "Can I just talk to you for a second after you're done?" And I was like. Sure. He didn't actually seem weird to me, so I was like, that's fine. And I went over to him, and the second I went over to him, he he burst into tears. And um, it was 8.30 in the morning in the airport, and I was like, I didn't know what was going on. And he was like, I just wanted to tell you that I just lost my son um, last week, six days ago. And wow. he played guitar, and he played golf, and I just, he, you look just like him. And I just what are the odds that I would see something like this walking through the airport? Yeah. And he goes, if you ever are feeling, and I asked him what happened, and he said his, his son took his own life. And he said, if you're ever feeling that way, please just call your parents and tell them. And, and I felt like what he was, and so I hugged him, yeah. and he held me real tight, and I felt like what he was doing is, is he was feeling like he was hugging his son for the last time, and I felt that he wanted me to tell people about it. So I got yeah. on Twitter, and I said that if anyone's ever feeling that, I put the suicide prevention uh, yeah. hotline out there and just that I felt like you wanted people to know. Well, I mean, that's a good story. And good on you for having the awareness to take that moment. You know, I mean, airports are such busy, rush, rush yeah. places that, yeah. you know, some people maybe, I mean, you wouldn't even be mad at someone for kind of just brushing that guy aside. But yeah, no, I, for taking that time. and I've had, being in this business, I meet so many amazing fans and you meet a lot of interesting people along the way. So I've had very normal interactions and very weird interactions with right. strangers all the sure. time. So when he came up to me, I, I kind of felt like that was also God's way of kind of, I was prepared for the moment. Yeah. At better so than probably a lot of people would. So what's next for you musically? Um, I play my last show on the low cash tour here in Vegas mm -hmm. um, at the House of Blues tonight. And then I go home to hopefully write, record my next single and the rest of my record. Okay. And then I'm going to be on tour with Sam Hunt all summer. Oh, that's not a bad gig. Yeah, it's going to be all right. That's a good fit for you, too. Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you. Yeah. That'll, that'll be a great, uh, one of the best tours, I think, of the year. I'm, Ryan, I'm excited about it, man. Ryan Folizay, look for him on tour with Sam Hunt and Marin Morris, who isn't bad either. Yep. Uh, all summer long, 2017 ACM Awards. Thank you. Thank you.